DevOps is amazing. I feel like I should probably have a few more exclamation points on there. It looks like we've already jumped ahead to this. Spo spoiler alert. DevOps is also overwhelming. For me, you know, I mean, the people, the culture, the automation, it's amazing. The conferences, awesome. At the same time, all these new tools, all these new ideas, the field is so broad. How do we keep up? How do we keep up? One of the, one of the things I've tried to adopt myself uh, to, to kind of deal with this problem is, is adapting a growth mindset to see almost the obstacle is the way. The resistance is just part of growth. And it's a good thing, so try, trying to flip it. And today I want to kind of just talk through a few tactical ways to uh, implement continuous improvement kind of in your own career development. Uh, for me, this is about just getting a little bit better each day, like 1% per day. So one of the first techniques that I, I found helpful for me is this idea of tool sharpening. So I picked this idea up uh, from a developer named Ben Orenstein. And he talks about this practice that he has uh, where he just keeps a list handy. I think he uses a text file, but, but just keeping it handy whenever he's working. And when he comes across something that bugs him, something that's annoying, something that's slowing him down, puts it on the list, keeps right on with his work. Then, this is the, the next part is the, the, the simple part, but not necessarily the easy part. At the beginning of the day, blocks out some time, brings up that list again, chooses an item off of it, and fixes it. Boom, that annoyance is no longer part of your day. Uh, maybe, maybe that thing that you weren't sure about, that command line flag that you didn't understand how it worked, uh, all of a sudden that's no longer a problem for you. And this simple practice, again, simple, not easy necessarily, it's hard to block out time with when we got like the latest and loudest coming at us all the time. Uh, it, it, the daily improvement process really helps you to invest some time today, and that time starts to pay off tomorrow, next week, and it's, it really builds up. I've, when I'm able to practice this, it's been really beneficial. And with that extra time and attention that, that you can get from this, you can go into what Cal Newport calls deep work. This book is awesome, by the way. I highly recommend reading this if you have the opportunity. Um, but Cal describes deep work as focus without distraction for a long period of time on a cognitively demanding task, essentially focus. And he talks about how this is becoming more valuable in the work that we do today, but also becoming more rare because of all the distractions that we face. Um, so one of the techniques he describes for addressing this is working on draining that shallow work out of our lives as much as possible. So the shallow work is the stuff that keeps us from getting fired oftentimes. It's the emails, the, the chats, the, the meetings. But just to make sure we have kind of a regulator on that uh, so that we're not constantly reacting and responding to the latest and loudest, but to spend some time. And for me, this is about blocking out maybe an hour a day, turning off that shallow stuff for a bit, and going deep. And the, the real goal here is to find, find the thing, find the problem that you can deliver the most value on. Like, what's the one thing I can bring all of my skills, all of my knowledge and experience to bear on and help my team or my organization? One of the things I find within, within these deep work sessions for me is I end up needing to learn something new. So that's where I've found tool, uh, books like uh, The Art of Learning by Josh Waitzkin to be really helpful. This is a fun, a fun book as well, I recommend it. Um, but he talks about this idea of deliberate practice. And t this, is a, this is a nice, this is an interesting idea. It's, it's more than just repetition. It's about kind of constantly assessing yourself and pushing yourself a little further, especially on some of the more fundamental things. Because they sit down at that, fund at that foundational level. And the more you can level up on those, those very small things, it really builds up over time. One thing I noticed in my, in my own journey was I was doing a lot of edutainment, I, I was calling it, you know, blog posts, podcasts, uh, you know, conference talks. I was just consuming them left and right, but not necessarily reflecting on them. And that, that's one way I've tried to in, uh, develop this practice of being more intentional about the stuff that I was learning so that I can internalize it and actually put it to use. Because there's always more to learn in this industry. Uh, so to wrap it up, continuous improvement for me at this stage in my journey is a few things, a few techniques that have been helpful. One is tool sharpening, deep work, and then also the art of learning. So I hope that gives you some ideas of how you might work this into your own daily workflow and get a little better each day.